high. Today we will demonstrate the construction of the palatal arch. It has many advantages. One of them is to get extra anchorage between the two molars. The construction of this appliance consists of the following procedure. First of all, we select the band and fit them on the molar teeth, right and left. Second procedure is to take an impression and then we remove the band and insert them in, in the impression material. Then we construct the model by pouring the model in this, uh, in this manner, we get the, ba the band fitted on the molar teeth. On this model, we construct the palatal arch using a heavy gauge wire arch, point, for example, 0.9 millimeter. We construct the palatal arch in between the two molars and we put a little u loop for adjustment in the future. Now, to get good <coughs> attachment on the molar region, we do two more procedures, welding and soldering. If you can see, the palatal arch is movable now. Putting, using the welder, Now, this welding procedure, it gets exact posi positioning of the band and the arch wire. Now, it is solid in position, but require more strength attachment, and that's why we do soldering procedure. How to how to do the soldering. First of all, we flame the area, heat the area, and then we put the soldering, the solder near the joint. The solder material will flow around the attachment. We do it both left and right in the same procedure. Pull the material or Put it under tap water. And now the soldering has been done and the palatal arch is ready to be taken out. The palatal arch is ready now but it requires polishing and finishing in the soldering area. Thank you very much for your observation. See you again. Bye-bye.